Hello. Welcome back. And as always, I hope you're doing well. Right. Before I start, guys, thank you, every single one of you who commented on my Yunwa backflip in Enter the Dragon. I've got loads of comments. I couldn't reply to all of them. But I also got a little pushback. So I thought I'd read just a couple just to let you know when you're doing this for free on YouTube. This is the kind of thing you put up with. First comment. I see that this stripy person is just another hater of Bruce Lee. <sighs> I'll give up. He asks a question. Then we click and see he's drawn a conclusion. I know who done the flips in Enter the Dragon. It was Yunwa. Read a little. We'll longer follow him. I think that means I will no longer follow him. You're going to be missed. But if he pops up on my feed, I will defend Bruce until I die. Bravo. I'm impressed. Bruce Lee hater. What a joke. <laughs> the next comment. Now we have a British guy telling us about Bruce Lee. <laughs> what difference does it make where a person comes from when talking about anything? If they've read a little bit and know a little bit and they want to share it on YouTube, that's the whole point, isn't it? And this final one. Amazing. Old white men hating on Bruce Lee. Are you serious? Honestly, sometimes. Sometimes. Anyway, in that last video, I said I had a package. And I haven't opened it yet, as you can see. I've took a lot of the black tape off it now, but here it is. So I thought I'd do a little unboxing. Nothing too deep, certainly not too heavy. I didn't want to upset anyone on the internet. But I thought I'd unbox it and show you what I've picked up. I've had a right result. Trusty? And let's finally get into this, because I've been itching to have a look all weekend. And just haven't had the opportunity. Oh, he packed it really well. Oh. Right. Let's get rid of that over there. Wow, look at that. Guys, I'm using two cameras, by the way, so you can see what I'm looking at. The Bruce Lee Legacy Collection set from Shout Factory. I think this was released in 2013, but I never picked it up at the time. I don't know what you're thinking. Ain't you got them films already, Stripey? I have, but this is out of print now, and I always really like the look of it. So I thought I'd have a little look through with you and tell you my initial thoughts. I got this at a steal. Because this goes two and a half hundred to three hundred and fifty pound roughly UK on eBay. And this was up for a hundred pound. And we put in an offer of 80 and he took it, so why wouldn't I? I'm really impressed with the box set. Look at the way it looks though, guys. That's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, we've got a couple of this sticking out at the top there. So let's have a little look through, shall we? Just a quick flick. Oh, that's a, that needs to come off. A little bit of crud, but nothing major. And there you go. See, these sit in like that. I've heard they're quite difficult to get out. But to be honest with you, it was the book more, their Blu-rays and DVDs. Probably a lot of you have got these already. So we've got the big boss here. Blu-ray, DVD. We got Fist of Fury, Blu-ray and DVD. Some great images. The Way of the Dragon, Blu-ray and DVD. Love that image. And obviously Game of Death. I will obviously check out all these discs, but there's no point in me getting out and inspecting them all in front of you. You're probably thinking, yeah, nice one, Stripey, well done. But 
So we've got the documentaries. Now these are not Blu-rays, these are just DVDs. So we've got Bruce Lee, The Man and the Legend. And Bruce Lee, The Legend. Again. Oh no. And I Am Bruce Lee. Now I have that on Blu-ray. Uh, I want to see that one at the cinema actually. 2011. Wow, was that when it was? And then we've got a bonus disc here. And it's in brilliant packaging. That looks like Bruce Fly. <laughs> it's a lovely looking set, but obviously this is what I wanted it for. Look, we've got this, this book. Obviously it'd be nice to have the films again, but sometimes it's just nice to have for the collection. And a bit of me is thinking about going back and getting some old DVDs. I used to have them all Hong Kong Legends, but I then I ended up with the 30th anniversary box set. So, as the single ones come out, I bought them. Then they brought out the Platinum Editions, and then I bought them. And then they brought out the box set, but I was always getting rid of the old ones, thinking I was upgrading, instead of, I should have just kept the lot, really. But, you know, space and all that. But now I'm doing Bruce Lee content a lot more on here. I am thinking about going back, because there was some really excellent extras on some of them Hong Kong legends and maybe some other Blu-rays and DVDs but like I said I've got the same films plenty of times so oh, some great pictures oh look at that Green Hornet oh I look forward to giving this a little bit of a read got the big boss US title Fists of Fury I've done a video explaining the titles in America compared to everywhere else. You know, the return of the dragon, the Chinese connection, and fists of fury, which was obviously the big boss. This is lovely. I feel like I've had a steal. I really do. I feel like I've had a right result. I hope you can see that okay up there. Oh, let's bring it down there a little bit. Fist of fury. Chinese connection. Oh, this is going to be nice to have a little flick through. It really, really is. Like I said, I know it's old, but it's out of print, so I thought just to own it. Now, they do single editions of the Golden Harvest films, you know, Big Boss, Fist of Fury, Way of the Dragon, and Game of Death. Mm, I could be tempted, but, you know, it is mental. It really is just mental. But, Oh, that's a great shot, isn't it? Behind the scenes. Photos. Oh, this is terrific. I had a dragon. Like I said, I watched that again the other day. Just to see if I could find Yun Wah. I couldn't find him. But thank... Uh, talking about the comments, guys. I've got to say, we're talking about 1% or 2%. Overwhelmingly, you guys give me so much encouragement you really really do it's it's wonderful it's heartwarming it really is but you, you're always going to get it if you're going to put your face out there and if you're going to do a video you're always going to get them sad o's that just sit indoors just spitting out hate because they're unhappy with their lives it's just part of being on the internet i guess i've got pretty thick skin but i just wanted to read some of them out to you uh, some more these are great photos of I've seen these pictures before, but tiny. I mean, that's quite a big photo. It's in really good nick considering it's... When was this? Was this one 2011? Or was this 2013? This came out in 2013, I think. So it's 11 years old. It's in pretty good nick, I would say. I love all this. Enter the Dragon. That's a great photo of Bruce and Corrine. I have heard rumours that Corrine and Dan in Asanto have got footage of Bruce, but because of the Lee estate, they're not allowed to put it out there. Does any of you guys know anything about this? I mean, you'd think the Lee estate, if it's true, will just let anything go out there. James Chin with Bruce's nunchucks. Yeah, let me know, guys, if anyone knows anything about this. I mean, I've got a cup. Oh, that looks terrific, that does. Yeah, let me know, guys, if you know anything about that. 
because there is some footage of Game of Death floating around on YouTube and it's shot really badly and dimly lit and dark. I'd love to know which footage that is and if there's any more and if there's any better quality. The spirit lives on. He certainly does. And that's the whole point of what we're doing here. Do you know what? That is a gem. It's in really good nick considering it's fairly old. And I've got to say, I'm really happy with that. Really happy with it. So, yeah, just a little unboxing video and a little bit of a ramble. Thank you, Hector Martinez. He put a video out the other day talking about Peter Chin's new book. So, I picked up a copy and I intend to give that a read this week. I mean, it's been forwarded by Linda Lee Ang Lee, who's making the Bruce Lee biopic. I haven't heard much news about that recently, but I am looking forward to it. And Stephen Kerridge. You know. And Greg Rhodes. So, I think this is going to be a great book. According to Hector Martinez, who read this in two hours, um, it'll be quite nice to read something on a personal level. But like I said, I've only just got it turned up today. So, I'm looking forward to having a little look into that and learning some more facts about Bruce Lee right that's going to sit in lovely with the collection and I have got a little gap just waiting for it to fit in so that's it guys just a short unboxing video nothing too heavy today but I have got some more videos in the pipeline and honestly I'm starting to get emails messages you do put yourself out there it all of a sudden becomes quite busy but I quite like it and like I said, we're trying to sort out sort out the truth and keep it to the facts because there is a lot of uh, Bruce bullshit on the internet with the likes of Beardy and the Bruce Lee Real Fights channel and the naysayers like Shale Sonnen and the likes that are always putting him down and Michael J. White. So, yeah, I like to think that's the antidote to all of them. Just my little bit on the internet trying to set the facts straight. But anyway, that's it. If you like this sort of thing, guys, maybe give it a thumbs up and possibly subscribe to the channel. It don't cost you nothing and it really helps me out. Have an amazing week, guys. Much love. And I'll be back with another ramble real soon. You take care now.